Hey guys, welcome back <laughs> to Plots with a Twist, where we discuss books, amongst other things, and we are back, back, yes. back, like we never left. Yes, we took a little break, mm -hmm. it wasn't planned, so mm -hmm. you know, in the future, if we have a little little stuff going on, we'll try to plan it better, Yes, and pre-record some content, but we're back here now today, mm -hmm. and in our little break, we've mm -hmm. been reading haven't been reading so we just took some stock took some inventory mm -hmm. of the books that we own and was like what do i own that i might not read that i'm never gonna read yeah so we want to show you guys that <laughs> so yeah we got a little list for you guys of books that we own that we're probably just not gonna pick up and read i'm gonna donate mine <laughs> oh well i'm not Maybe. so let's get into it <laughs> okay, all right so start. Some of the books, like we go to book sales often, um, and so we'll pick up a lot of books that we might notice or might be recognizable for whatever reason. That we've seen or heard some from somewhere, so we're like, ooh. I know yeah. That book. So some of these books, I'm not going to, I'm going to preface it by saying that some of them I might still read. One for sure, I might. I'm going to hold on to. The other ones, I don't know. So mm -hmm. I'm going to start with this one. Okay, so this is Gold <laughs> by Chris Cleave, I believe. So I bought this because I read Little B. Yes, I was going to say, I know that name. Somewhere. Yeah, I read Little B, thought it was, at the time I really enjoyed it. Yeah, but I picked this right. up thinking, okay, well, I enjoyed his one of his other books. Maybe I'll enjoy this one. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I look at it often on my shelf and I'm like, you don't really see yourself. Eh, yeah, that. it's what can I read? Not that one. What right. can I read? Right. So yeah, I don't I don't think I'll ever read this. I looked at the reviews before I even like selecting it for this video and I'm like, it doesn't have spectacular reviews either. Mm -hmm. So we'll see, but yeah, I don't I don't think so. I don't think so. So that's gold. So for me, my first one I'm going to pick is Then Again by Diane Keaton. But you know what? I might read this one day. Because I, I picked this up because I like Diane Keaton as an actress. I do. And she's older. So, you know, older people just have a lot of wisdom. So still. <laughs> what? I didn't say she old. She older. She is. And they have, like, a lot of wisdom. And I, and I can imagine that she's been through a lot just, like, in the business and whatnot. And um, I think she has two, like, memoirs. I think this is a memoir, by the way, about her life a little bit. Yeah. Unforgettable memoir. <laughs> so I picked it up because I'm just like, oh, Diane Keaton, whatever, whatever. And but the cover's girl, cute. I'm not reading this. When am I gonna read this? I don't I would, know. I would, but it's just it's when I thought about books that I owned, I'm not gonna read. This instantly popped in my mind because I'm like, like you said, like I look for books to read, and I'm just like, I ain't reading that. Like, you're right. I just put it back down. But then again, Diane Keaton's memoir. <laughs> So, I'm likely going to donate this one. This is A Desirable Residence by uh, Madeline Wickman, which is, um, I think it's her pseudonym for Sophia Kinsella. Kin oh, really? Kins Kinsella. I was yeah. going to say, because that's what I thought it was by. But yeah, yeah, that's what it was by. I've read her books. Um, so, this was like before she started writing under her... Is that her actual? I don't know which one so is her actual name, girl. I thought I've never knew like, this whole Madeline thing. <laughs> well, this was like one of her first books, okay. And she wasn't so maybe writing. that's her pseudonym. Yeah, so um, that was why I picked it up because I saw it at a book sale, and mm -hmm. I'm like, this looks like one of her books, and then I didn't see her name. Yeah. And then I saw that it was her name, and I was like, oh, so okay. Let me see but this has cute. horrible reviews like <laughs> horrible reviews i'm i'm guessing she got her footing once she was like i'm taking on a new name but um but yeah i just i don't see any reason i would pick this i don't even know what it's about i don't know mm -hmm. what gold i know it's about like no i don't know um Most yeah of the books on my list i'm not sure what they're about <laughs> I, I think i know what the other ones it. are about but um yeah i don't I don't know. It's just one of those that I was like, okay, because I'm, I'm familiar with this author, maybe mm -hmm. it's something, but I doubt I'll ever read it. So, yeah. Okay, so the next one on my list is The Dinner by <laughs> Herman Koch. Watch. Something that Kristen threw in my basket one day when we was shopping for books at our book, I think from the um the library book sale that mm -hmm. we go to. Um, you gonna read it. I'm not because it's about uh, Amsterdam evening 
when two couples meet, and I don't, it don't even sound like. <laughs> I think the each kids, couple like, has a kid that's the same mm -hmm. or whatever age. I don't even. The cover alone is not giving me what I need to want to read this book. And I never heard of this guy Herman Koch. I just, oh I just be letting Kristen talk me into buying stuff and. That we never we bought this probably like two years ago and still haven't read it. So she obviously don't want to read it either. So I put but this on my list because I'm like I'm. Not I likely this. will read it. Don't know when. It's a New York Times bestseller, but I'll probably be donating this. Book. All of mine are New York Times bestsellers. So not gonna lie. So for me, the dinner, Herman Koch, and I don't like his name either. So that's rude. Um. So the next one is. Don't you hate when you go like. Borders or I hate like, that. I've been filling them off. <laughs> like, but this one won't come off. I know, but I got this the thing. Right, this is so long ago. This is the leftovers. The leftovers. That's you told me this sucked. The book? Yeah, it did get bad reviews. But okay, the show was good, <laughs> and that's basically well, I'm not why. Say bad reviews, but the show, like, yeah, the book was supposed to be like bad. Well, that's basically why I'm probably not going to read it. I'll yeah. just probably watch the show. I've never watched the show. I saw the first season. It though. is on my list. Um, and it is a shorter like series. Mm -hmm. It's like it doesn't have that many seasons. So that's something that I'll probably watch before I ever read this. Um, this is just on my shelf. It's been on my shelf for a while. Like the th this is one of those old Borders or Barnes and Nobles. I don't know where I got it from. Mm -hmm. Stickers, but it's like fading. That's how long ago I got this. Um, yeah, I could probably just go ahead and donate this and you know whatever. But yeah, I, I Asia told me it was bad, so I was like. But I bought the book. <laughs> so yeah, this is the leftovers. I can't remember what it's about, but it's about these people who are left behind, right? Yeah. After the rapture. Yeah, after so, like yeah. the rapture, the people left behind, they trying to figure out like why were they spared or not spared. So there you go. Um okay, so my next book is Girl, why did you even buy that? <laughs> that was like a textbook. <laughs> is Nabokov's what's his name? <laughs> Dmitry Nabokov, <laughs> Butterfly. <laughs> so, sometimes I be feeling so, like, philosophical and literate, like, just so, like, I'm just going to be all the literary greats and stuff that I've heard about. I thought this was the guy who wrote Lolita. Right? You asking the wrong <laughs> Y'all know, know. The, the, that story, Lolita? About I know Lolita, but like, I don't know who wrote it. So I think this is the guy who wrote it. <laughs> Girl. And I said, ooh, he wrote this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this because. <laughs> and this is something that for the first time is newly translated from the Russian Nabokov. Mm -hmm. This is a 40-page after 40. I don't even know. <laughs> Just put it down. Go ahead. And throw it says that away. butterflies presents Nabokov's twin patch through an astonishingly rich array of novel selection. Oh, okay, so it's like a bunch of his stuff, I think. Selected writings, and I might read this. I'm just playing. I'm not reading this, y'all. So I don't know why. But look, look, it's look, a look. picture. Butterflies. Oh, picture book. It's very, much, <laughs> very much giving textbook. Not gonna read it. Don't know why, but it's probably a dollar. Like I'm gonna donate it. Yeah. So that's definitely. This is something I when we thought about doing this video, I said, oh, yeah, I'm picking this up. Because first of all, look at this book. <laughs> Who's reading it? All right. So this, this, these are Ooh. my, my last two finished. are more my controversial picks. Okay. So I've spoke out about this author's Not spoke out. <laughs> <laughs> first book. Was that her first book? I don't know. Either way, I did not enjoy it. Yeah. I did not enjoy it. This is so... This is Sing, Unbird, and Sing by Jasmine Ward. Okay, I didn't enjoy Salvage the Bones at all. At all. I'm I buried. Sing, oh. Sing, Unburied. Sing. <laughs> I can't read, obviously. But, um, so I didn't enjoy Salvage the Bones. I, I can un not enjoy something by, while recognizing that, you know, technically and literarily, like, how I can understand why it was an important story. Mm -hmm. I recognize that for her. But, <laughs> you know, that doesn't mean I have to enjoy it and like her, you know, other works. And I think I purchased this prior to reading Salvage the Bones. So, yeah, I'm... It didn't really excite me. Like, some authors, like, I'll read their stuff and it's not, like, necessarily a book I really like that really resonated with me but mm -hmm. it's not off-putting where i don't want to read their other work mm -hmm. her i'm good you don't want to read nothing 
I'm good. Mm -hmm. If it's and I heard this is similar similarly written to Salvage the Bones, mm -hmm. and if that's the case, I'm I'm okay. I, I'm I'm okay. It's it's a pretty cover. So I might keep it on the show. I might keep it because I feel like somebody who is very like, you know, you know, knowledgeable and educated or something might walk in my house and be like, oh. So other oh, than wow. that, <laughs> uh, but other than that, I don't foresee myself reading this really ever. But if if I do put that back on a read list, I don't see myself reading it anytime soon. So that's seeing unburied seeing. By mm -hmm. Jasmine Ward. Okay, so my next book is Girl. a book, another thick one. Why you be but, buying these anthologies? I don't know. I like a good anthology. I mean, an anthology that's been taking me a year or so to read. But anyway, The Next by Nathan Hill. You guys have probably seen this. You've seen this book, right? I've seen it several the times cover. at Goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this book, uh, the cover, and like just people talk about this book. And it's basically like a political, like, I want to say it's a political novel. I'm not sure too much about what it's about, but I'm not interested. Yeah, this is Nathan <laughs> Hill's first first novel, but I think when I looked up the reviews on it, it got like mixed reviews because some people liked it, some people didn't. They mm -hmm. say he's a good writer, but I'm just not interested. Like, even though I can't really tell you what the story is about for real, I know it's about politics in America. Don't really want to read about it. Not really, not really interested. And it's a little thick and small so i'm yeah. not i'm just not into it but it was one of those i picked up like Kristen, i may keep it because of the cover <laughs> and just have it so people think you know that i'm diverse when it comes to my novel topics but i'm probably not gonna read this okay so my last one highly controversial Ooh. highly controversial i read this one okay so i'm probably <laughs> i'm gonna give you the reasons why first before i upset people <laughs> i've seen the show yeah. It's a lengthy book. It's a lengthy series that has even longer books. Like, why do you have thousand page books? Mm -hmm. I mean, I know people read them, but not moi. So, girl, maybe when I'm older <laughs> and got more time on your <laughs> and got like the boys to move out, like <laughs> I got a lot of stuff, like a lot of time on my hands, mm -hmm. maybe. And that's why I'm not gonna donate it because mm -hmm. I mean. That would be pointless because I bought it just to be like, oh, I got it. But that's the Game of Series. Uh, uh, I mean, the Game of Series. A, a Game of Thrones mm -hmm. series. Um, This is not even the thickest one. Like, one of his books was so thick, he had to split it into two books. Did you know that? Which one? I don't know. Oh, I have a couple. I think I read I think it's the third and fourth one. He had oh, that third one was a drag. I feel like that's the one I stopped on, I think. No, you said you got to the fifth one. But anywho, All right, um, time. so yeah, I don't want to offend anybody, you know, because I do understand that there's a lot of backstory here I can fill myself in on, but I'm good on the shows. I'm good if they go ahead and do the prequel series. I think I'm good on this type of uh, story for a while. Um, if I'm missing it. it, I will go back and watch the shows. I, like I said, I'm not, I'm not going to just toss it out. Out of all the books I've mentioned, this is probably the most likely one I will read. Did I say that right? Did that sound right? Um, but, um, but yeah, I just it's not a hundred percent necessary for me because I know the base story. Right. Like, I know there's a lot more to get into. That's just like me denouncing Harry Potter and be like, oh, never read it because I watched the movies. No, it's a lot there. Mm -hmm. I know that, but. Um, but yeah, I just it's not it's not high on the priority list. So, a Game of Thrones and the rest of the series, I probably won't read in probably like the next five years for sure. For sure, I'll give it five years. Mm. <laughs> you should read them. I feel like I can't remember what, whatever book it's the great one over there, but I don't know what book number is that. But you should read them. It's good. They're good. Even the first one. I know they're good, but you know. That's why I was made a show that I enjoyed. <laughs> You're lazy. No, I'm just kidding. So my last book that I'm not gonna read is another one that Kristen picked out. And I'm gonna read that. that. I don't even know why she put this maybe because me. I heard it was good. It's called The Whistling Past the Graveyard from the acclaimed bestseller. See, from <laughs> the acclaimed bestseller from award-winning author Susan Crandall. Mm -hmm. I don't like her name either. Oh my god, <laughs> Crandall. 
But anyway, um, this book is about, I just read the back while Kristen was talking. <laughs> <laughs> this book is about a girl that runs away from home and like on her way or her journey or whatever, she meets a black woman, changes her life forever. That's Haven't we, we heard this story somewhere before? That's what millions we do. of times. Right. Like, I don't, I don't know. I yeah, I'm not interested. I don't know. Just the cover alone is not give, taking me. So, and I be I judge books by the cover all the time. <laughs> so the cover alone is not taking me. The setting, 1960s, look, white girl, black woman. I don't know if I want to read that really right now. Only because I feel like I probably heard this story. I feel like the story could be predictable. That's what I really feel. It like. might be, but, but I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it. You're not. We've had this book for years. First of all, it's only been like <laughs> two years. Oh. So, <laughs> so yeah, Whistling Past the Graveyard is the last one, guys. I'm not reading. Probably going to donate it. Probably going to get rid of it. Kristen picked it out. Just want to say that. Well, so, yeah, those are the books that we... Let us know if we if you guys have read any of the books that we um, picked out and if we're really missing out and really doing ourselves a disservice by not reading them, which I don't think so. But let me know if y'all read Nabokov. Up um oh, nobody has. <laughs> nobody's read that book. nobody <laughs> but yeah so those are all the ones that we're just not interested in at the moment no yes. we got um a ton of reading to do but it won't mm. be these <laughs> right um and exactly. oh we got a ton of new subscribers hey guys yes thank you guys so much for subscribing to us it means so much who would have thunk right shout <laughs> out to drinking by my show yes. um i'll link some of her information below but she mentioned us recently mm -hmm. <laughs> so it so led some you. people our way thank you guys for coming hope you're enjoying toast you know cheers oh Bye. cheers girl i even though i drunk all mine well we're back we're going to be more consistent, and yeah, we're going to have more content. So yes, leave those comments below, like, subscribe, ring the bell, mm -hmm. and come back for more. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.